Uh, hi there, I'm David. I'm the archivist at Bethlehem Museum of the Mind and that means I'm also archivist at the South London and Maudsley NHS Foundation Trust. We're looking at a number of different items that talk about the Maudsley's history uh, in time for the 100th anniversary of the Maudsley. And today what we're going to be looking at is having spoken quite a lot about different administrative objectives of the Maudsley uh, after the Second World War, I'm going to talk a little bit about what it did for patients. What we're looking at here is some of the paintings by a lady called Rosamond Jean Gunther. Um, she was a patient in the Maudsley in the 1950s and what the Maudsley, what her doctors at the Maudsley encouraged her to do was art therapy and uh, Joan would have had the opportunity to paint and then go to a, a therapist and talk through what her paintings represented. Her therapist encouraged her to paint what was happening in her mind at that time. This is a really important little collection for us. We have uh, over 50 paintings by her and they're all very striking, extraordinary use of colour and shape. But the important thing is for us is that they represent what the Maudsley was encouraging its patients to do by means of treatment. Now, after the Second World War, the Maudsley possibly could have gone two ways. The Maudsley during the Second World War had split into two different sections. Uh, half the hospital had gone to Mill Hill, half the hospital had gone to Sutton. When they united, there was a little bit of an argument over which was the more effective forms of treatment. And the side that won was the side interested in um, sort of psychotherapy, interest in talking therapies, interest in art therapy, interest in occupational therapy. And that's very much the direction the Maudsley attempted to go in in the 1950s and 1960s. Uh, this doesn't mean it wasn't interested in the new particularly drug therapies that came along, it was, and it instituted those as well, but it set a sort of standard for what it was trying to do in treatment. Um, and that was particularly used new ideas around um, things like occupations and art in order to help its patients express their problems and then work through those issues as well. These other photos that we have which are from taken outside the children's ward in the 1970s and they show a new mural being put up. Now it's a very small thing. Uh, I think these artists who I believe were from Norfolk are in and out in only a couple of days but it represents the Maudsley trying to knock some of the institutional edges off itself. It's a very plain brick wall they're working on and they're trying to create something colourful and nice for the children who would have been treated inside the unit and who would have gone outside to play in this little yard here. And so the idea is the hospital is working to a point where it's trying to meet its communities halfway. It's trying to institute a form of therapy that, uh, and a form of treatment that is also sort of amenable to the communities it's looking to serve. And I think that's an important thing in the history of psychiatry, which is sometimes seen as very top-down and sort of doctor-heavy. Actually, what they're trying to do is create a more pleasant environment, and they're trying to listen to their patients and give them what they want and what they enjoy.